Hi everyone, this is Felisa. If you're interested in seeing how I style this super cute kitchen vignette, just keep on watching. If you're not a member of the Homebodies channel, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button, the notification bell, and give this video a big thumbs up. This video is sponsored by Ruggable. So it's about time for me to refresh my kitchen area with a new rug and shouts out to Ruggable for sending me this rug combination. So I'm in my kitchen. Those of you who've been following me know that I have an eat-in kitchen. I don't have a dining room and my space is kind of limited. And one of my mottos is small space, so what? Make a big impact in your space. So I'm gonna go ahead and unfold the rug, and then I'm gonna take the mat that comes with the rug, and I'm going to use the Velcro and attach it to the rug itself. Here's the Velcro here that I'm showing you. I'm gonna go ahead and insert the mat into the actual rug connectors there. Once the Velcro is secure, then I'll go ahead and roll out the rug, make sure all the wrinkles are out, and I'm ready to put my furniture back on the rug. I have a link and my discount code below just in case you're interested in checking out the rug. Okay, love, so I have my rug all situated in my kitchen and I am loving it. Okay, loves, I'm gonna have the link below to this particular area rug. It's a five by seven. It's stain resistant. It has the soft Chanel texture. The top layer will catch spills and you can actually switch out the top layer of the rug to change up your space. If you've been following me for quite some time, you know I love changing out my space. I'm loving the different tones of gray that's in the rug and how it contrasts so perfectly with my floor. Okay loves, over on this side of the kitchen I have the same rug, however it's smaller and it's over by my zinc area. Love, 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 love it. Okay loves, so let's talk about this super cute kitchen vignette I have here going on in my kitchen. I love, 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 love it. It's super cute and so much fun. So what I have here, I'm gonna start with the cutest which is this snowman. I purchased this snowman last year from Home Goods, and I need to show you that it actually lights up. Love, so I've turned him on, and isn't he adorable? Yes! Okay, so I just basically have my snowman. I don't wanna put him out of the picture. He should stay in the entire video, right? So I have my snowman sitting on a candle holder. This candle holder actually came from Bath and Body Works and I've had it for a few years. It's very, very pretty and it has a bling around it. Not sure if you can see, let me focus here. I have my camera just a tad bit focused a little bit better. So look how pretty this is. If I can catch these again at Bath and Body Works, I would grab me another one. I like to have everything in two. But yeah, this is really, really pretty. And I have my, my snowman sitting on top of that. And this particular jar here actually came from Home Goods last year. And I actually have a couple smaller ones as well. It's really, really pretty. And I really, really like it. And I actually have some ornaments in here. I have these ornaments. These ornaments came from at home. And then I have my really pretty, unique apples and pears in here. And these came from Z Gallery a few years ago, but they don't sell them anymore. These are really, really pretty. Look how gorgeous these are. So don't know why I only purchased four, maybe because they were expensive, I don't know. But yeah, I love these. That was a task getting them back in that container like that. So anyway, I had my snowman pulled up to the front. I had the bigger tree. Now these cone trees came from Etsy. You can Google velvet cone trees and go to Etsy and they'll come up. So, so this sums up my kitchen vignette. I hope that it inspires someone on how to set up a cute Christmas 
vignette in their kitchen. Okay, loves, this is the end of this video, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!